Leaders from 120 governments participated in the second summit for democracy, which notably excluded political leaders from Moscow and Beijing. One of Thursday's themes was advancing internet freedom. Without naming names, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said democracy was facing threats, including on the internet. More countries are putting up firewalls and shutting down access, using the internet to try to control speech, quash dissent, spread misinformation, and disinformation. In Beijing. Chinese officials accused Washington of creating divisions in the world in the name of democracy. This week, on the southern island province of Hainan, China is hosting the Boao Forum for business and political leaders. Included on the agenda is its Belt and Road Initiative, a China-led global infrastructure program. Experts say this is the latest example of U.S.-China competition for global influence, as the Chinese leader Xi Jinping seeks to promote China's international status. I see 2023 as a year in which China is、uh, emphasizing once again its diplomacy and its、uh, role around the world. The Boao Forum has been going on for many years, even before U.S.-China competition became so intense. But I think there is increasingly rivalry between、uh, the Chinese-led organizations and Western-led organizations. Others, including Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong, also weighed in. Most worrying is the state of relations between the U.S. and China. Big powers have a heavy responsibility to maintain stable and workable relations with one another, because any clash between them will have grievous consequences for themselves and the world. And yet, the U.S. and China are at odds over many intractable issues, including trade and investments, supply chains, cybersecurity, emerging and critical technologies, as well as freedom of navigation. On Thursday, Secretary of State Blinken said the U.S. is taking steps to protect the security of its citizens' data from authoritarian governments amid growing calls from lawmakers to ban TikTok, a popular video sharing app. Nike Chin, VOA News, Washington.